Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Thomas Spark. Today, I'm gonna show you how to launch NordVPN and disconnect it as well with just one button. Now guys, if you haven't already subscribed to NordVPN, if you use my link in the description and pin comment down below, you can help support the channel, get the best current deal going on, and just know that if you subscribe to this channel, you'll be able to find cool VPN tricks just like these for all VPNs. Stay tuned on the channel for more VPN reviews, VPN content, check out vpntierlist.com to see all the rankings and more, and let's get into the tutorial. Alright guys, so right off the bat, we have NordVPN connected here. Um, this is um, proof that this does work. I'm gonna drag this over here a little bit. Basically, what I'm going to do is show you my Stream Deck here. You can get these for around 80 bucks, pretty good deal. And they do so many cool things. They even have the ability to do different folders and stuff like that. Really happy with it. I'll put an Amazon link in the description down below as well if you're interested in checking this out. You can even cool, do cool things like control your lighting, like this. So these things have so many cool uses and I've only just begun to explore how powerful it is and useful. But as you can see here guys, we have NordVPN and I just push this button right here and as you can see on the screen, it's just disconnected. If I push this button that says start, um, it will automatically connect. And the cool thing about this is that NordVPN kind of likes to hover in the background. So let's go ahead and say um, uh, disconnect right here with the button. I don't even have to click on it. And I push this X right here. If we look down here in the taskbar, you can see this little NordVPN icon. I'm gonna drag it over a little bit so you guys could see that. You can see NordVPN is disconnected. So we're gonna push connect. So just push start right here, boom. And you can see the little NordVPN icon is going to turn blue, as you can see there. If we push disconnect right here, it's gonna go white, which means it's disconnected. So it's pretty cool. Not only that, but you can use these buttons I've set up to start NordVPN, and then when it starts, click it again, and use disconnect as well. You could even probably make a command to exit NordVPN as well. So guys, how did I set this up on the Stream Deck? Well, let's go ahead and show you how. Basically, what you're gonna do is launch Stream Deck like I have right here. You're gonna wanna download this application called Advanced Launcher. If you go here, go to the Steam Deck store and type Advanced Launcher, you should be able to find it. It's done by Bar Raider. Once you do that, you install it. It's going to kind of go at the bottom of here. So the advanced launcher bar radio right here. And basically what you can do is start making your own little buttons to start an VPN or even do other things. You can even use uh, the process killer to disconnect and permanently end NordVPN to shut it off, which is actually really cool as well. So how do we start and connect NordVPN with this method? Basically, you can click here and I'll show you how to do it. You're gonna to want to find the application in your files first off, and that kind of varies where you install NordVPN. If you can't find it, you could do it by looking at the start menu and finding the folder that way. Um, so that's how I found it. Basically, you're going to do uh, find it there, and then all you have to do is do slash C for the connect icon, and then you make one for disconnect, and then you do slash D for disconnect. Like I said, you can even do a process killer for this one by choosing NordVPN as an application. If you push that button, it will end and kill NordVPN as an application, which is actually kind of cool. Cause like I said before, it does kind of like to linger around as that's kind of its native activity, which actually helps it in this instance for disconnecting and reconnecting very quickly. Anyways, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Thought you might like it. Just in case you want to do it for any other VPN, you probably could get it working with other VPNs as well. Um, as long as uh, uh, the VPN supports kind of basic command prompts, which it probably should. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this video. Links down in the description down below if you want to help support the channel and get the best current deal on Nord. And I'll see you again in the next video very soon.